Iran destruction of a U.S. Navy Global Hawk surveillance drone over the Strait of Hormuz. On June 20, 2019 Sholdnit deter us forces from monitoring the strategic waterway. Retired US Air Force General David Deptula. Dean of the Air Force Association Mitchell Institute told Air Force magazine he would put an additional Global Hawk. In the exact same track. We certainly don't want to be cowed. Northrop built four broad area maritime surveillance demonstrator drones. Based on the Global Hawk platform for the Navy starting in 2008. The Navy has stationed two of them in the United Arab Emirates for operational use as it prepares to deploy the full MQ-4C. Naval version of the Global Hawk starting in late 2019. While it can fly as high as 65,000 feet beyond the reach of many air defense systems. The BAMS-D is subsonic and lacks stealth features. Making it vulnerable to the most powerful surface-to-air missiles. Iranian forces claim they used a version of the Buk M1 road. Mobile SAM to shoot down the BAMS-D. The IRGC also possesses Russian-made S-300 air defense systems. Air Force Chief of Staff Gen David Goldfine on June 26, 2019 told Air Force that American military aircraft would continue patrolling the Persian Gulf. He doesn't expect to significantly change the combination of assets in the region. Noting it is job to pull together combat options for Prez. We continue to fly where we need to be. When we need to be there as we do in all scenarios. This is a conversation we could have anywhere in terms of international airspace. We continue to protect those global commons for everyone and we continue to operate where we need to operate. Dipshula said the Pentagon must modernize its geriatric air force with systems that that have been designed to operate against high threat capabilities like stealth fighters. The presumption of being able to operate in permissible airspace is one that was legitimate over the last quarter of a century. But this shootdown demonstrates the consequences of operating against even second-rate military powers. Aside from a few classified vehicles the US military largely relies on slow, non-stealthy manned and unmanned aircraft for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Those ISR systems are vulnerable to the latest Iranian Chinese and Russian air defenses.